Hello everyone, my name is Nikki Stars, and welcome back to Undertale. We are about to finish the game. We're in the castle. Castle entrance. Castle elevator. Yeah, so... There's the elevator. Wait. Uh... elevator is in use. Okay. Well. I love doing that. New home. So it's like Toriel's, but it's new. It's all gray though. I have a mystery key. Oh, I didn't read that one. Well. You'll need both keys to get through. Yeah, I'll take that. Shaped locket. A worn dagger. I don't need weapons. Info. Heart locket. Defense 15. It says best friends forever. Shut up, Facebook. I should mute that, actually. Like, before I even start recording, I should just mute that. Room under renovations. Oh, there's froggets. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by the f its fall, the human called out for help. You took a key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's Asgore's journal. All of the current pages say it's a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Oh, there's a trophy over here. It's a trophy. Number one knows Nuzzling Champs, 1998. Well, I'm presuming if they have phones, then it's just like 19 something. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. But why did they want to kill the humans then? If one of them was good. Or anything actually in here. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Aw, that's Toriel. The stove top is very clean. Someone must have used fire magic instead. Shut up. Jesus. You unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 21X. The date is circled on it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Aww. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from the village. But there was no- there was no- nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, da, da, da. the human died. Oh. Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. 
he transformed into a being with incredible power. So he was able to get up through the barrier. Why is he behind that? With the human soul Azriel crossed through the barrier. Yeah. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't, did he? But Azrael did not fight back. He showed them mercy. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. Let us go. King Asgore will let us, will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Last Corridor. Sands. Sin. Jesus. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for the EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain that you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you will bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent and naive. It's just that you kept your certain, just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or the hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. 
You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. So it's, it's a choice between saving the human race or saving the monsters. Uh, well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So long as you... So long as you hold on. So as long as you do what's in your heart. Believe that you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. And he's gone. I probably should get food or something. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea to heal during this battle. I literally have nothing. No entrance. Okay, so let me go heal. Let me go get some supplies. I wonder if the pirates will talk to me. There's no response. Okay. I got the butterscotch pie. Which Toriel gave it to me. From the beginning. Oh. Well, okay then. music anymore. I loved that. I loved the core music. It's my favorite. But yeah, this is um kind of a predicament. Oh, there it is. So we either save the human race or we save the monster race. Oh, there, that's the elevator. Now we go to the, over here. Oh, nothing over there. I can buy this. <laughs> Don't ask, please. I could buy a bunch of these because I don't have more than 20. That's not the right amount of money. Oh, wait. It, it ups my attack. It's very popular. That's very popular. Oh, the cats wanted a glam burger. Have a spectacular day. Oh my god, is that a glam burger? Oh my god, give me. God, catty, try to have some self control. Sorry. Because they obviously brought that glam burger for me. <laughs> no way. So, I still have eight. <laughs> Bullets not included. Asgore. 
No, I didn't want to call it Toriel. Heading into the core? Hmm. The core is a huge tower of electrical energy. So I don't think your phone will be working through it. Oh no! Oh yeah, I already read this. Yeah! Yeah. Metaton gone. Just noticed that. I just realized that. Well, Metaton EXE. He made his premiere. Oh, yeah. I haven't put any of the Undertale episodes up yet. Besides for like the first three, I think. Yeah, like the first three. And I've literally just been recording Undertale the entire time so like I have a couple of like five six episodes recorded already so none of them are like really properly named yet I just named them something so yeah I gotta figure out like names for them or whatever plus I'm not really really good at editing either so that's reason why like none of them are actually like edited here we go to the final showdown. Was there an easier way down there? Oh wait, no there wasn't because they had to come this way. Yeah. And then there was an elevator and then I go up that, or across that rather, because it just went left, or right rather. It goes left and right, not up and down. <laughs> this isn't Willy Wonka's factory. Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Nikki. It's empty. So these were the bodies. There's only, I only see five. Okay, so. Kinda nervous, honestly. What's, what's uh, Square's voice going to be? Oh, God. <clears throat> dum dee dum Oh? Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh. 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 I'm so, I so badly wanted to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. I do. Dum dee dum dum. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Can we play catch? 
Uh, you know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. He does not want to kill me. Throne room. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. Oh boy. Damn, this is the barrier? Dude, this is like entering freaking hell, oh, heaven. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if I chance you, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue, go back, continue. I see. This is it, then. I'm presuming he's gonna be a lot like Toriel, except he needs to kill me, so, like, when I get low on health, he's gonna, like, try and killing me. Ready? Oh. There's a seven human souls. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, jeez, how do you just keep that in your freaking clothes? And I don't have mercy. Freaking destroyed my mercy button. Dick. Asgore, 80 to attack, 80 to defense. Oh, uh. No, I don't know what to do. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Um, let's just ask for, sir. Uh, you eat the unicycle. Yay. Oh, God. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. So I know how to do that. Stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Escort attacks drops. Escort defense drops. Nope. Nope. Oh god. Seeming talking won't do more, any more good. Oh god. Do I have to fight him? I don't want to. Uh. Uh. Oh god. Um. Blue, blue, blue. No moving. Okay. What, sir? so I could get this over easy. Uh, 118. Move, move, move. I was moving. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Good. Is this all I have left, really? I didn't want to eat the Glamour, I want to eat the Tonic Blakes. Oh god, I'm 
so nervous. I want to like ruin this. Oh god, it's slow. Stop. Oh god. Whew. Move, move, move. I didn't move. Should I eat the pie? Not yet. 2 HP? Oh, God. <laughs> well, luckily I used the freaking thing, because that healed me just enough. Smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack is down, Asgore's defense is down. Yay, got it. Got it. That wasn't a good attack, but okay. Why did I do that? I just clicked it. God. Oh jeez, that was a bad, good attack. Asgore, please don't kill me. Jesus. Oh. Is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. Oh. <laughs> the entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use the Excuse me, their souls to become godlike and free us from the terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This, is, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. I'm showing a mercy. After everything I have done to hurt you, 
you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take good care of you, as, or take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room and telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. You mean the one I accidentally ate, or the one I ate? We could be like, like a family. Uh, how, no, no. Oh. Uh, you fucking dick. Oh, I fucking hate you. Uh, I can't even do his voice right now. I'm like hurt. I forgot his voice, actually. I haven't done it in a while. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. It's not good. Wait, what the fuck just happened? No. Did my game crash? Why? That's different. progress. Ow. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I could have never gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. I've got the human souls. That's creepy as hell. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm. I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I've only had six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and I forgot to escape. And no, and forget about escaping your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over, and over, and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. It's not Flowey. Flowey, what did you do? You are you're terrifying now. Even just the outline. Um. That 
That's not funny. That's scary. Ah, oh, God, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm almost dead. Nope. No, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> yes! Love is the best thing. <clears throat> oh god. Nope, nope, I'm good. Oh, flower sir. Crazy. How am I surviving? Doing better. There's six human souls. I think this is number four. Oh god. This is easy. I think this is the... this next one's the last one. Oh god, um...
I'm good. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot me. Thumbs up, music, and lucky charms. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. I'm not gonna say anything about me just killing myself over and over and over again. Yeah. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Nope. I'm not. What? How did you? <laughs> well, I just got. Or in my powers. Oh, they're breaking free. The souls. What are they doing? No. No. You can't do that. You were supposed to obey me. Stop. Stop it. G 
Jeez. Dude, how did I not die? Whoa. He doesn't know any better. Cause... He just wants to be free like everyone else. So, he did anything that was possible to kill the humans so he could break the barrier and get free. He never, he, he doesn't know any better. None of the monsters do, besides Papyrus, honestly. Well, he, he's just too kind, but like, like I said, no one knows any better. And the only reason I'm alive right now is because Sans made a promise. <sighs> what are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Spare me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you'll let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Uh, uh, why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. This is like the beginning. Wait, since Asgore is dead, did I absorb his soul? Undertale. By Toby Fox. Wow. Temmy. Temmy Chang. Holy crap. Jeez. Just a bunch of question marks. Ring, ring. Hey, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. Onto the ruins. So, it's been a while. The queen returned, and now she's ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared, so uh, the plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her very best to give us, to let us give us hope, give up hope, not to let us give up hope. So uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take. But we'll get out there. We'll, but we'll get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Yeah, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now Captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alfie's with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion-inducing. But I think Alphys has having likes having her around. Uh-oh. Hey, 
What are you up to, punk? Please don't noogie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah. That's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, some of you won't be fighting anymore. The Royal Guard totally is spent. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. Anyways, now I keep... Now I'm working with Alfie's as... As La Alfie's lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah. And I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he... Ah, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Some Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm here to support... I'm here supporting her. And that's what friends are for, right? Hey... Wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot to get you to the surface. It took a lot of sacrifice to fo for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better... We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the Queen. Hey, wait a second. Doriel, Doriel, do you wanna... <laughs> she says she's busy. But she knew who we were talking to. We wouldn't get the phone back, for at least for a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So... Hate to cut this short, but... But seeing you, okay? Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Click. That was nice. It's fun. Oh, hey, how's it going? Why? <laughs> Why did you let me go? <laughs> Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how they've been setting, set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you'd just gone without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel so bad now. So, I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alfie's? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. I'll see you soon. So he wants me to get a better ending. Because I showed him mercy. And he saw that I can be nice. But won't I have to go through with everything else over again? No clue. But I'm going to wait to do that for another episode. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do that in another episode. So that's it for the um, pacifist ending I guess is that a pacifist ending I didn't kill anyone besides Asgore so I guess it's a neutral ending but yeah that's it so 
that does it for the neutral run. We're going for a pacifist next. Because, I mean, better ending would be above that. And then when I beat that, I'm going to go genocidal. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.